to, to, to go through this and give up so much of what you love doing, I was like... Uh, I don't know. It, it, it's still setting on me because mm -hmm. of how everything happened. Uh, you know, I, I'm still seeing a psychiatrist because it, it really traumatized me. So as far as my feelings on it, I, it just really had not sat on me. Right now, I'm getting back to where I was before all this even happened and everything. So. Mm -hmm. What was your life like before? I, I, I'm an outdoors person, mm -hmm. and I spend a lot of time out in the yard. Uh, I would pick up trash up and down the road here and everything. That was just a daily routine for me, and that pretty much changed it as far as going out in public now because of my appearance that doesn't bother me I just can't be out in the sunlight so that's about the only major thing that's mm -hmm. changed from how it used to be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I still haven't severed all my ties with law enforcement uh, some type of job that I may be able to do that's inside that I won't have to be an outside right and, uh, you know, like you say, spending all those months and things in, in the hospital, um, how grateful are you to, to, to be alive from what I've been told? You, you were on death's door. Yes, I was, but I always had faith in God, you know, and my, even though my vision was blurred and my mom was still always telling me, read the Bible, so she brought me a magnifying glass up there. <laughs> They say, still read the Bible and everything. But I kept faith in God, and my, my faith is a lot stronger now than what it was. I glorify God for what he brought me through. I mean, without God's grace, I, I, I wouldn't be here today. Mm -hmm. so. Do you harbor any bitterness as to, you know, the... the uh, I guess the, the mix-up or, or the... No, I... I, I don't, uh, I'm not bitter about the way it was handled. Uh, I'm just glad that I didn't follow the one doctor's or the nurse practitioner instinct that told me to come home, just go home and everything. And, but I'm not bitter with her about it. Uh, maybe to her, it's a learning experience for her also. But I do want to thank Dr. Beach from the emergency room in Orangeburg because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here either. She picked up on the symptoms, she made the right calls, she sent me in the right direction and everything. Mm -hmm. but. Because the, when you first, when did you first, what was your first, um, I guess, sign of trouble? Uh, well, the bloodshot of my eyes mm -hmm. and I, I went to uh, urgent care here in Bamberg, and I saw the doctor there, and uh, he just told me, you know, do eye drops and everything. So that was the first sign, but I didn't know that. I had a fever also, which ran in the hundreds and everything, and uh, that, that turned out to be the first sign, and I guess the next day, I still had the fever, and I went to the emergency room in Orangeburg they gave me something uh, and I think uh, he, again I came back home and then I did another follow up with uh, the nurse practitioner here in Bamberg. At the urgent care center? Uh, no, at the, uh, I guess it would be uh, Bamberg Primary clinic here, uh, family practice here, mm -hmm. and that's where my family doctor is, but I wasn't able to see my family doctor, I saw the nurse practitioner. Mm -hmm. well, she's the one that sent you home? She told me to go home, yeah, just just go home, and uh, I just I, I just couldn't, you know, and, and I kept asking her for, well, could you refer me to go to somewhere else, and she said, what I say, you're not going to believe me. And uh, we just went on over to Orangeburg, and that's where we got there. And it didn't take Dr. Beach a long time to diagnose what I had. So.
Mm -hmm. And what was it again, sir? Uh, it's called TENS. No TENS, okay. Yeah. It's just mm -hmm. it's toxic effort or something. Right. That's a long word. Mm -hmm. um, I guess, you know.